Hi everybody, George Donnelly of Shield Mutual here reporting on the free Adam Kokesh campaign. Uh, just to get you up to date on the facts, uh, Adam was arrested around 8 p.m. Eastern Time last night at his home in Herndon, Virginia. Uh, an insane scene with perhaps 20 uh, SWAT and other uh, agents of the government uh, attacking his house using a battering ram. They had uh, armored personnel carriers, they had two helicopters, if you can believe that, all for uh, Adam. Uh, they were executing a search warrant, it was Herndon Police with uh, U.S. Park Police. They basically uh, ransacked uh, Adam's home, they left it in a disaster, they damaged doors, they drilled open his safe, uh, and his safe is a disaster now. Um, they uh, held them all, all of the people in, in the house um, for a while and um, basically treated them extremely poorly and then uh, they only took Adam with them and he, uh, they are, he's being held at, um, let's see, Fairfax County Prison in Virginia on what appear to be at this time to be only state charges of um, some kind of illegal substance possession, um, which is pretty nonsensical, but um, that's what they have um, cooked up for him this time. Um, he is disobeying and uh, he's engaging in civil disobedience inside the prison, refusing to come out of his cell, according to NBC, um, and uh, refusing to process, uh, give his fingerprints and whatnot. I believe I got that from the Washington Post. Uh, we don't ha have the charging documents yet, however, uh, Lucas, his business manager, reports that he is being charged with uh, Class 5 and Class 6 felonies, which are respectively a uh, position of a Schedule 1 or 2 uh, illegal substance and possession of uh, a firearm and uh, a so-called illegal substance. You know, we all know this is complete and utter nonsense, but uh, that's... That's what they're saying. Um, Adam, um, you know, if they can make these charges stick, which uh, as long as we stay strong and support Adam and Adam stays strong, him on the inside, us on the outside, I don't think they're going to stick. Um, but he, he, if they were to stick, uh, which isn't going to happen, he could face uh, two to ten years in prison just on, over this. This isn't even any, any D.C. or federal government charges uh, related to the July 4th video which is uh, presumably going to be a, um, a different matter entirely. So here's what we're doing. The freeadam.net website uh, from this morning uh, has been updated. Uh, the social media presences. Uh, I've issued a report about what's going on uh, with detailed information, sent out emails to the different email lists. Um, let's see. We uh, have a call flood going on. Uh, and you can get details at freeadam.net. We absolutely need your assistance. Uh, it appears that they did not arraign uh, Adam today, and so they're going to try to arraign him again tomorrow on these charges. We need to get that call flood in uh, full force tomorrow morning before the arraignment in order to have maximum impact before this event. Uh, so go to freeadam.net and you'll find the information there for participating in it. Uh, this is absolutely essential. And in the past, liberty activists have been, in fact, uh, free from uh, cages just on the basis of outpourings of uh, public support via call flows. And finally, uh, we have raised in six hours flat uh, $1,200 in order to fund three um, top flight national uh, press releases. Because right now, um, you know, Adam's um, higher profile than ever, CNN, Fox, NBC, etc., all covering him, but they're covering the police uh, narrative, and uh, we need to put out Adam's narrative. So thanks to those of you who have funded this press release, uh, these three press releases. Uh, the plan is to get the first one out tomorrow morning, and then we're going to have the other two in the pocket for when they, whenever they may be needed for Adam. Um, so freeadam.net is where the, all the information is. Uh, we're working on a rally for tomorrow morning at the courthouse in Fairfax County, uh, Virginia. So please stay tuned at freeadam.net. George Donnelly signing off. Thank you.